Now, as if things couldn't get any worse for firefighters last night, they also had to battle another big fire in Padbury. It was deliberately lit and it threatened homes. This is what Perth firefighters didn't need, a second fire in the northern suburbs when they already had their hands full at Bullsbrook. This blaze in Padbury sparked by a firebug about quarter to eight last night. I just don't understand how, how, how people can do that. The flames were so high, it was, it was frightening. Strong winds fuelled the flames, pushing them towards homes on Brazier Avenue. We just came out the front and couldn't believe it was so close. I thought the shed was on fire. A police officer told Arlene Seeger she had three minutes to grab her valuables. I thought it was going to be the end, yeah. I just thought it was, uh, it was just so scary. Guys, can you all move back out of this area, please? Neighbours worked quickly to hose down fences and gardens, leaving fire crews to focus on the head of the blaze. People came from we don't know where to help that had just been walking or driving and seen it. By 11pm, the fire was under control. I'm standing on the edge of Hepburn Heights bushland and as you can see, the flames came within metres of these backyards. Today, residents full of praise for our emergency services. When you think that they'd been working so hard further up, it was just amazing. Police are still hunting the arsonist. We will catch these people and they will potentially face a term in prison, which is what they deserve. Kelly Williams, Nine News.